Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of a video where I will solve a question from Facebook. So this question was asked by Facebook in the coding challenge, coding interview challenge. Let's see what it is. Let me just erase this. Okay, cool. So basically we are given a list of numbers. In that list, every number shows up twice except for one number. And the challenge is we have to find that number and the complexity of that thing of that algorithm should not exceed big small of one in memory which means no matter what the size of the input is the average memory usage will be constant so let's see how we can build that in order to understand this problem let me just so the input will be a list of numbers and in this list every element has a duplicate element except for one element and we have to return this element which will be our output okay and we have to do this in so they are asking about constant memory usage but they are not telling anything about the complexity of this algorithm so that means we can't use any other data structure or anything else other than this given list. We can't copy this list because then the memory complexity will become linear. So let us let us just ignore this little information here for now and and let's let's see how we can solve this problem without any memory constraint. Another possibility is make a hash map like we did in the previous video we create an hash map and count each each element in the list so that means 4 comes twice 1 comes 1 times I mean once and 2 comes to, uh, twice 3 comes twice and then we just have to uh, iterate through these keys and see which key has a value of 1 but this approach will take an entire data structure extra data structure which will increase the memory usage in order to maintain this little const uh, constraint this little constraint we can't use any other data structure or we can't duplicate this list i have an idea to achieve this particular task in n square complexity which is i'll make two for loops for each element in the input list and again for each element in this input list and I will just if the ith of this is equal to jth of this input then I will add the flag else I do nothing and after this loop I will check if flag is equal to exactly 1 then return the ith element of this input so this will take n square worst case but it is constant memory usage algorithm if you have any other algorithm that takes constant memory but is better than this one please let me know i can't think of anything else at this point of time because I just saw this question and start making the video because I wanted to think as if I'm solving this question in a coding interview. So I can't think of anything better at this point. Another algorithm which will take linear complexity and linear memory which is to use a hash map and count each element in the list and whichever, whichever element has exactly one count value return that element. This particular algorithm can be implemented in less line of code if we, if we are using a hash map abstraction class in Python or Java or C++ whatever and this will take a long time to implement relatively long time to implement but the question dictates that the memory usage must be constant so I'm gonna implement this in Python so let me just open up my VS code so basically we have to make a function the odd ones out and it will give a list, some list A, let's A and for I in A 
and for J and A. We have to make a flag. This will be assigned to zero. And if I equals J then flag plus equals one. After the first second loop, okay, flag equals exactly one. Can return or let let us just make a thing a test sample dot one sort and pass a. Let's run this program. Sometimes the code does not work. At that point of time, you must use debuggers. Okay. Let me debug this program with you. Okay, so A is loaded correctly and uh, flag is initialized to zero. Then I equals one, which is the first element. J equals one because those are the same thing. And flag should be one now. And then next loop, J is two. Now flag should be two. Okay. And this will iterate through the. It will check if the flag is one. It will not. Enter that loop because the flag is two right now. Yeah, so let me just make this big. Flag is two right now, so it will not enter this loop, and then it will restart. Oh, I know, I know what's the problem. Look, I have to initialize this flag inside the first loop. Right, well done. Perfectly. Let me rerun this program. It should return five. Yeah. It just returned five. So this program is working, and the memory usage and the memory usage is constant, as we have calculated. As we are not using any other data structure apart from apart from this A list. So which match this little thing constraint, but you know what? Let us implement one more one more algorithm that hash map algorithm. So let me implement import counter class. We'll after this implementation, we'll like compare both list. So I'll make a dictionary of count of number of element using counter class, and uh, for i in a, if a of i equals equals exactly one, then return i. Compared to this, behemoth, the hash map algorithm just implemented in just four line when we are using the abstract abstract class here. So let me make a bigger bigger list, and we'll import time to time it, and to make sure that both algorithm runs for the worst case scenario. I will add a unique number at the end of this list. So I just made a big ass list and write two pieces of code to time this normal constant time algorithm, constant memory algorithm, and linear memory algorithm. But this will take n squared, and this will take linear time, and this will take quadratic time. 
So let's run this this program and see how the time is changed. Oh. There's always a bug in my code, I don't know why. And those bugs are like simple bugs. Yeah, here you can see that the first algorithm, this one, took 9, 16 milliseconds and this one was like practically nothing. Let me just make, multiply this by 1 million and it will be microsecond. I'll rerun this program. It's practical. It's for about nanoseconds. So this basically proves that. Sometimes, in order to get the speed, we will spare the memory. I wanted that to be like inspirational and all, inspirational and all, but it's barely understandable. Anyway, I think that's it. that is good. So. That's it for this video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment. If you have anything better than this constant memory and like linear time or something, then please comment that in the comments. And uh, yeah, that's it. Bye bye.